before I start this video, I need y'all to smash that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. The goal is to make the channel the full time gig, which means a lot more fight analysis. Fight fam and all Boxer Gems members and patrons, much love. You already know what it is. Class in session. Archer Better BF vs. Joe Smith Jr. for three straps at 175. Two front foot pressure fighters matched up is a war in the making. I truly don't see this one going 12 rounds, so we're going to do this one a little different. Joe Smith Jr. very often utilizes the same setup to close distance and deliver offense. It's a full step forward, then half step forward. Except with the full step, he goes beyond matching the distance covered by his front foot with his back foot and gathers his feet. So the second half step with the front foot puts him back in stance and often at least mid range from which he immediately delivers offense. If he speeds it up, it's just a front step shuffle. So built in that slow or normal front step shuffle, when the back foot covers more distance than the front foot, Smith is momentarily out of stance and off balance while coming forward. The footwork isn't unique and can be safely done, but repeating the setup gives his opponents opportunity to time Smith for defense and or counterpunch. And finally, the slow or normal front step shuffle often positions Smith mid-range where he tends to make the mistake of throwing a single jab. Just to make it clear, fighters aren't looking at the feet in the ring. The tell is the hesitation or slight rock backwards when the back foot lands. Countering the repetitive setup would likely be these variating slip counters from Better BF. Better BF throws both outside or inside slip uppercuts and is very nice at inside slip overhands to take advantage of lazy or mid-range jabs. On a very similar note, Better BF also tends to close distance with the front step shuffle and a jab or just a forward shuffle accompanied by the jab from the outside. The same exact problem Joe Smith has will apply, except Better BF can be caught with his weight almost completely off the ground. You already saw in the highlights how the footwork and jab were countered with the jab, hooks, or overhands. While it won't likely be a jab from Joe Smith Jr., it will likely be an overhand, lead hand hook, or an uppercut countering the incoming shuffle and jab, and all of them are coming with steam. Joe has the tendency to leave his head on his center line or not move his head after he punches. Of course, it shows the lack of defensive responsibility. At a high level, you have to be expensive to counter punch from your opponent. Joe leaves his head on the center line after a punch, better BF has short and quick counter punches in his arsenal. The power he musters up in these shots is remarkable because a lot of them are arm punches that aren't loaded with his legs.
Better Biv is a powerful and extremely aggressive fighter, and he's been that way his entire pro career. Sometimes uncontrolled aggression works against him in that he breaks good technical form and becomes off balance and much more susceptible to being hit or even being knocked down. Both fighters generally fight out the high guard, and as all the subs should know, there are plenty of issues. The only difference between the two is that better BF has quicker feet to evade, whereas Smith has been more flat-footed and stationary. Joe Smith is known to abuse a high guard with volume and mostly hooks around the gloves and depending on distance, crosses and jabs up the middle. Better Biev has a solid high guard as far as his head is concerned, but generally ignores protecting the body, which could be an issue if Smith adjusts from his normal strategy and focuses there. However, on the other side, defaulting to a high guard against Better Biev allows him to utilize his bread and butter. Better Biev would drive you back to the ropes just being aggressive, then probe openings to land powerful punches. The more resistance you show from this position, the more the mauling, head and body control, and guard manipulating tactics will come out of better BF. Fight fam, there is almost no doubt in my mind that this fight is going to get ugly and be a war. I'm going to save the breakdown of how this fight can go for another video because that's going to get interesting, especially with the odds. I want to know who y'all got. Peace.